Hey guys, in this video, I want to walk you through a tutorial on how you go about either farming or mining through VVS Finance, and you can do this through the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. This isn't financial advice. I just want to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how you go about doing this, and be sure you know your risks before getting involved with liquidity pools or mining with this VVS token. So we can do this by launching the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. And then in the DeFi wallet, when you scroll down here towards the bottom, you can find this area where it says take control of your finances, earn shiny VVS rewards. This is going to be the area that you click on to get to VVS finance. But before we do that, we're going to need crypto.com coin that we can use in the VVS finance area. So what we need to make sure is that we have that crypto.com coin. So I'm going to click on it here to open up the crypto.com coin page. And there's some different options here on how you can get the CRO coin. You can receive it from an external wallet. And actually, this is a new feature where you can buy it directly in the DeFi wallet. You can hook it up through the crypto.com app. See if I click the buy option right there, you can connect the DeFi wallet to the crypto.com app so that you can buy it. And going back to the home page, another option that you have is just going into the crypto.com app itself, buying the crypto.com coin, and then transferring it over to the DeFi wallet. And if you need help with that process, I'll have a separate tutorial video linked down in the description. So now I have some crypto.com coins, and I want to send some of these over to the VVS finance area. And to do this, what we do is scroll down and below this area that I showed you earlier, you can see this option where it says bridge through chain migrate assets to Kronos. We need to do this with our crypto.com coin so that we can use them in VVS finance. So I'm going to click on this bridge option right here. And this is going to be transferring those coins from the crypto.org mainnet to Kronos. And you need to decide how many coins that you'd like to transfer. It's always a good idea to leave some coins in your DeFi wallet to pay for gas. So maybe about 50 of these I'm going to transfer over to Kronos. So I enter in 50 right here and then click where it says transfer 50. And then you can just double check everything right here. We can see the network fee is quite small there at just 0. 0.0002 CRO. So I'm going to click confirm to transfer. And this request has been submitted. So within maybe about a minute or so, depending on how much traffic there is on the network, you should be able to transfer these coins over to Kronos, and then that'll allow us to use them in VVS Finance. All right, so now back on the homepage of the DeFi wallet, we're going to go down and click on the VVS Finance area right here. And to see the CRO in our wallet, if we click on our little profile image here in the upper right-hand corner, and then select Wallet... And this opens up our wallet. I already had some CRO coins in here. It added those 50. So now you can see your balance right there. So now going back to the previous page, we have a couple of different things that we can do. Opening up the earn area, there's the farms and the mines with the farms. Essentially what you're doing here is you're having 50% of each of the coins that are listed. And then you're staking those in a liquidity pool and you're earning VVS rewards as a part of this. So I have some in the crypto.com coin ether pairing some in the crypto.com wrapped bitcoin pairing and then i also have some in the crypto.com coin vvs pairing and they've continued to add pairs we can see there's a vvs usdc pairing as well as a usdc usdt pairing and they're going to continue to add these different pairing options in the liquidity pools that you can stake in and the idea in these farms is that you're having 50% of one coin, 50% of the other. Now, how do you go about doing this? Well, we're going to go down and click the trade option in the bottom left-hand corner. And let's say I wanted to stake in the liquidity pool with 50% CRO and then 50% VVS. So I need to select the VVS coin right here. And I want to transfer over a little less than half of these coins over to VVS because you're going to need some CRO left over to pay for gas. So let's say maybe about 26 of these coins, and then that'll give me about this much in VVS. And then I can click swap, and then click confirm swap. And then just double check everything over, click confirm at the bottom if it all looks correct. Transaction submitted, and it should just take a little bit of time and those coins will transfer over. All right, now the next step is we wanna click on where it says liquidity here at the top, and we're gonna add liquidity. And then we need to select those two coins. So we have CRO and then VVS. And again, I'm going to do about 26 of my CRO coins because I want to have a little bit of a balance left over to cover gas fees. So we can see that we have this pairing here 50-50. And then we're going to go ahead and click supply at the bottom. And then confirm supply if everything looks good. And then click confirm. 
And then it says that the transaction was successful. We get this little check mark and we can see that our balance of CRO and VVS have been reduced. So now at this point, what we want to do is go down and click where it says earn and then click on the farms. And in the farms, of course, I'm going to be putting these in the CRO VVS pairing. And if this is your first time, what you're going to need to do is click where it says enable contract. Of course, I've already done that because I'm currently staked. And then also after you enable the contract, you're going to get a button where it says stake LP. And again, I've already done that, so it's not showing up here, but that's what it's going to look like if you're wondering. And for me, the option is just to add it through this little plus sign. So I'm going to click the plus sign right there and then click the max amount of the balance that I now have and then click confirm. And then again, click confirm. And we can see that it was successful where we're getting this green check mark, and that has now been added to this liquidity pool for CRO VVS. And you can see currently this APR is still quite high. This will continue to go down over time. And if you have a more secure or less volatile pairing, such as CRO with wrapped Bitcoin or CRO with Ethereum, or even things like USDC with USDT, you can see that those APRs are quite a bit lower and you'd expect that the risk reward in return for those being a bit lower than something like the CRO VVS pairing. And to wrap up this video, I'll also touch on the mines. So we'll go down and click where it says earn and then click on mines. And this is if you wanna hold on to your VVS, you can stake them in the mines and I would do the auto mine option instead of the manual option because the nice thing about the auto mine is that the rewards that you're getting, it's just keep funneling them back into the stake without you having to manually do it yourself. But there is a manual option as well if you wanted to mine with those VVS tokens that you're earning. But I've preferred doing the farms and the liquidity pools because then I don't necessarily have to hold on to VVS tokens if I don't want to. I can transfer them over and then do the liquidity pool with the CRO Ethereum or CRO wrapped Bitcoin or some of the other options that are available in these liquidity pool farms. So going back to the homepage of the VVS Finance, you can see your total deposits and how much you've yielded from your farms or mining. And that's pretty much going to wrap this one up, guys. So I wanted to touch on how you go about either farming or mining in VVS Finance. I hope this video was helpful. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel for more, and I'll catch you guys back here next time.